Sometimes less is more to a powerful queen. This is usually the best choice, but not always. In this position, with white to move, if white automatically plays f8 equals queen, black does not have a legal move to play stalemate. If white doesn't promote the pawn, black will simply play king g7 and capture it on the next turn. What is white to do? In this position, less is more. Just because you can promote the pawn into a queen, it doesn't mean you should. After f8 equals rook, black's king is not in stalemate, so white will win the game. Let's take a look at some other examples of under promotion. In this position, black is one move away from promoting the pawn on f2, but the promotion square is guarded by the knight on e3. Black finds a winning combination ending with under promotion. Can you find it? Black removes the guard of the promotion square with the queen sacrifice, queen takes e3. And after queen takes e3, if black promotes to a queen, white can attack black's vulnerable king with queen e4 check and likely draw the game. But black has the much stronger under promotion move, f1 equals knight. Black promotes a knight, forking the queen and king. So after king g1, knight takes e3, Black simplifies the game and enters a completely winning position. Let's take a look at one more example together. In this position, white is one move away from promoting when white's queen should outpower the black rook in a winning endgame. Black forces white to make a decision after rook d3 check. The position appears simple, but it turns out there is only one move that wins for white. If white plays king c4, the king and the pawn are both lined up on the c-file, so after rook d1, black saves the game. White cannot promote the pawn because black can skewer the king and queen with rook c1 check. White is forced to rush the king up the board to save the game. If white plays king b4, black can draw the game with the clever defense king b2. Black allows white to promote, but after c8 equals queen, Rook b3 check. White can never move to the c file because it will get skewered by black's rook. So after king a5, rook a3 check, king b6, and rook b3 check, white's king cannot escape black's checks without losing the queen. The game is drawn. White's only winning move is king c2. White's king attacks the rook and prevents any skewer tactics. It looks like white is easily winning, but remember that chess is a game of many opportunities. Even when things look finished, you must stay alert. Black plays the tricky move, rook d4. This appears to not help black as white can simply promote with c8 equals queen. But black has set up a stalemate trick after rook c4 check. Forking the king and queen and attracting white's queen to c4 after queen takes c4, Black is in stalemate and saves the game. After the clever rook d4, has black saved the game? Not if white remembers under promotion. After c8 equals rook, there is no longer a stalemate trick since black's king can move to a2. White is now threatening checkmate on a8, so black's only defense is rook a4. It appears black might be hanging on, but can you find the winning move for white? If you found king b3, great job. White's king clears the path for the rook to deliver checkmate on c1 and also threatens the a4 rook. Black cannot defend against both threats, so white will win the game. Are you ready to use under promotion to win? Let's see.